Welcome to day 66 and the final day of my 1000 mile solo run across Nepal. Uh, so far it's a normal day, just like any other. I'm very used to the routine. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't feel very different, uh, apart from a little bit of excitement starting to creep up. Today has a little bit of a strange feel about it because um, after the first two weeks of this uh, trip, uh, it's been sunny every single day, uh, pretty much without fail. Sometimes like a tiny little cloud would just block the sun for a couple of minutes and then it come out again. Uh, today is the first day where it's like this. The sun is over there, uh, but it's so, so hazy. Um, and that's not kind of pollution, or some of it is. Uh, it's, uh, it's just mist. It's just uh, water in, in the air. Um, so it's, uh, it just feels very different because of that. You know, it feels like a different place. It doesn't feel like Nepal. I remember that I forgot to, to calculate when is going to be the exact um, 1,000 mile point. So I opened my spreadsheet up uh, where I've got a running total of daily distance. And uh, I, I calculated it and I looked and I watched the distance and it's one and a half kilometers away <laughs> from where I am right now. And that just put a huge smile on my face. It's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, unexpectedly, because obviously I knew I, knew I was going to hit that milestone today, quite early in the day as well. Um, but I'm just one and a half kilometers away, so let's see how I feel when I actually get there. My watch just told me I'm 12.46 kilometers into today, and that means I'm a thousand miles across Nepal. Uh, I'm still probably about six kilometers from the finish which is <laughs> which is so little you know i'm almost a, just a park run away from uh, crossing the entire country uh, but it feels good to to just see my uh, my watch just click over a uh, thousand miles really good <laughs> there are monkeys everywhere in this particular part of the route uh, and I've, n I've never seen so many monkeys in one place uh, on this trip as I have today. So even, so I don't know if you can see it there, um, even, even on the last day, Nepal has uh, some surprises for me. I forgot to mention, yesterday uh, was a rest day, uh, or kind of like an emergency day just in case I needed it. Uh, but it turns out I didn't, so I used it up the day before the finish. Um, and I got a chance to really relax. <laughs> and I was just like, what, 16 kilometers away from the finish, uh, which is today. And yesterday I just spent it all in the hotel, eating lots of food, uh, just relaxing. And today it's kind of carried over. I'm, I'm kind of really relaxed today. I left in plenty of time to be at the finish uh, of the, uh, at the arranged time of 12 noon. And I'm a little bit of a head of schedule, so I'm, I've been running very, very slowly and, and walking in bits because otherwise I would just get there early. So it's been a very, very <laughs> relaxing final day. I'm um, just looking around. Um, I'm in the middle of a tea plantation. I had a chat to one of the security guards. Um, lots of, he's told me that about the monkeys. He said the monkeys don't touch the tea. They're not worried about the monkeys. The monkeys just eat the fruit in the trees. Um, yeah just enjoying it. So this is it. Uh, this is the highway that goes to the river Mechi, which is the border with India, Mechi Bridge. Uh, it's 1.2 kilometers away from here. The finish of my entire journey is 1.2 kilometers away. This is the highway. I've tried to stay away from the highway as much as I could today and generally. So I've just come from this part here. I'm just about to join the highway and I'm what, five minutes away from the finish. So here it is, I'm on Mechi Bridge. I've just run past some people that are here to welcome me, but I'm gonna carry on to the border, to the, to the exact border according to my map, uh, and then come back and, uh, and say hello to them. It's November the 15th, 2018. It's 11.35 Nepali time, and I've just crossed the border from Nepal, Nepal into India. I successfully run a thousand miles across Nepal, Feels pretty good, I've got to say. <laughs> I thought it was going to be just kind of like, okay, that's it, that's the end, but it does feel pretty good. I've got adrenaline, I've got goosebumps. 
Um, this is it. After after months and months of planning, training, uh, it's finally complete. That's it. So I've met up with my welcoming party. Everyone's welcomed me. They respected me. <laughs> Give me a tikka <laughs> uh, flag, and we've taken some photos on Mechi Bridge over here. And this is it. This is this is the final point. So I reached Mechi River. When I left Mahakali River in the west of the country, I dipped my heels into the Mahakali River. Now that I'm at Mechi River, I'm going to dip my toes into the river here. And that's it. I've completed, <laughs> I've officially, technically, completed my run across Nepal. It's been an absolutely incredible, incredible experience. This finish just is just the end of my journey, effectively. Uh, and, and it's all about the journey. It's all been about the people that I've met along the way, the scenery that I've seen. And the scenery is just, I've been in, in quite a few different countries around the world, and the scenery is among the best I've ever seen in my life. And the people, the friendliest people here, have been the friendliest people I've ever met in my life. So that's it. I'm uh, heading now to the airport, back to Kathmandu, getting my stuff, eventually flying to the UK. A little bit kind of already missing Nepal, to be honest. It, it feels very, very strange to, for, the, for the adventure to be over. After just over two uh, months of being on my feet, uh, of living, breathing Nepal, and it feels very strange to reach the end. And I kind of feel, now what? Um, well, actually, there is an answer to that because I, I've had a lot of time to think about my next adventures and that's yet to come. But uh, one step at a time and time to head back to UK. It's been an absolute whirlwind after I finished my run. Lots and lots of photos near the bridge and the river. And then we uh, all went to get some food and now headed to the airport. And if we've got time, maybe visit a Nepal Youth Foundation uh, centre out here. Uh, I spoke in the last couple of videos about feeling my immune system's a bit up and down, feeling tired. As soon as I got to the border, I just, half of me was like adrenaline, energy, feel great, obviously, all of that. But then, like maybe 10 minutes later, <laughs> suddenly I just want to sleep. I, I felt so tired <laughs> straight away. And today was, was like one of the shortest days of, of the entire trip. So it, it's nothing to do with the, today's distance. My body knows you can relax now, that's it. <laughs> no more running, uh, for a while anyway. Uh, and, and it just wants to sleep. That's, that's how I feel right now. Someone's parked in the driveway and everyone around is getting involved in trying to find the driver um, and to move the car because we can't move <laughs> until this person moves. <laughs> I'm totally exhausted. I want to, but I feel like just going to sleep as soon as I get there. Even though it's four o'clock in the afternoon.